more viewer recipes. Oh, more of them. Can I you thought we were it? out of viewers. Yeah. I mean recipes. <laughs> <laughs> After last week, oh my goodness, I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Blobber. Now you say that, but you know, we, the staff just moved right on that macaroni and that hamburger. Eat that stuff up. Ate like it, it all up. They were just jumped on it like frogs on a June bug. First food that had months down here. That's what it looked like. You really uh, all day. Yeah, I did. told you anything they can identify. I haven't seen anything like that since Aunt Yule and Uncle Henry's pigs went after the bucket of slop. It oh, was unbelievable. No kidding. But anyway, uh, we uh, we keep getting all this mail, and I brought the box with the letters in it. Now this is not the ones with the envelope. These are just the letters where people wrote us things beyond have a nice show. Or send me you, recipe or number send me, 415, yeah. whatever. Why don't you reach well, down in there and pull one Well, out. these people have sent us money. Uh, I believe it's bogus money, uh -huh. however. It looks a little large to me. Greetings, gentlemen. My mother and I enjoy your show very much. We have tried, oh, we have never tried any of your recipes. But <laughs> we get a laugh from your show. Well, how about this says, have you two ever considered turning the show into a network comedy show. Uh, uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and we still are. <laughs> yeah, we were working on that for a long time. <laughs> but anyway, well, it says, keep the shows coming. Smiles. That's from Diana Bowles. Diane oh. Bowles. I'm not sure where that's well, from. Well, somebody inside. enclosed this one. I thought it was. <laughs> Thanks for your excellent service. <laughs> <laughs> a little tip card. <laughs> and uh, Wilder Waldman <laughs> of Carlton, Nebraska sent this one in. We caught your show by accident and laughed till we have tears. You two were so funny. Can you tell us by mail where you got the poster of the pig in the hammock? <laughs> we just love to get that That is one. a staff photograph. Uh -huh. <laughs> a lot of people have been wondering right. about that. Yeah, that's, that's one a staff of our photograph. staff uh, members. Right there it is over my head. Yeah, yeah. that's one of our staff members. Yeah, it is. Uh, and one of them at the front office out there. Right. Here's one that says, uh, viewed the program for the first time, can hardly believe it, but loved it. <laughs> Please send recipes for, oh, they wanted them Ropa Vila's things, remember? Uh -huh. yes. Which, by the way, somebody sent us a letter from, from Where? down in Florida, and just laid, laid us, us the thunder yeah. and said we didn't know what we were talking about, and we put the whole bunch of them to shame. Well, that's but, uh, true. That's from Herbert Ebner of Naples, Florida. Thank you very much. And this is a postcard we just got. Uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> what that is was that a say? generic postcard. Oh. I thought that was right as well. That's from, uh, oh, that was from a gag. Uh, listen to this one. Dear Laban and Larry, I will not use the diminutive Lab or Lair as I believe it would be a breach of professional ethics in your case. Uh, the purpose of this letter is to request that you do not send us a copy of the re recipes <laughs> of show number 603. Please believe me when I assure you from the bottom of my heart hmm. that this is no reflection on your professional skills, uh -huh. but rather a commentary on the two recipes. Oh. Both dishes remind me of those my mother used to make when she was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that, that was, well, I, you reckon all, that was from Arlington, Virginia, but I won't say the name because uh, Cecil, your mother might be watching. That's right, that's right, <laughs> if, uh, if indeed she has uh, come to yet. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Terry Cratchman of El Paso, Texas, uh, saw your show for the first time today on KRWG television in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and it's great. You know, we were invited to Las Cruces yeah. and it fell through. We never did make that. Really, we were supposed to appear down there one time and I don't know what happened. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Plane ran out of gas. Yeah, something, something, I'm something not terrible. Sure. But anyway. And then this, what, well, what is this? Enough of this nonsense. What do you got? Oh, this is the, uh, this is the guy that wrote in uh, whose name is Tomcat from Salem, Virginia that said he'd been down the Hard Rock Road twice. In other words, he was married twice. Oh. And he's a bachelor again, I guess for the third time. Yeah. And he's learning how to cook by watching our show. And it will keep him from going down the Hard Rock comma, comma, Road twice. Well, I certainly a third feel, time. feel sorry for you and we'll send you medicine. Yes. Well, we gotta get going. <laughs> I'm going to do we a viewer recipe going today. going if you're going to make a show and, and you're going to show and it's a good day for, remember that song? No. Oh, I don't remember come any on. of that. I'm just thoroughly humiliated Fly. with the whole operation. I'm going over and do beans and rice. Oh. 
They were a vaudeville team, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start out. I'm going to start out. <laughs> I'm going to start out. But I'm doing a cheese by cake. finding the camera. Ah! <laughs> Oh, there's One of a, these days. Hey, there's a viewer's tip. Oh, yeah. Never catch a falling, falling knife. knife. That's right. right. Or flip one in the air, anything like this. Or go, I'm going to start out with a giant onion. <laughs> this is a giant onion. Is that a Vidalia? Is that the flattest onion you've ever seen in your yep. life? That, that really, looks like one of them Vidalias. It's a big flat Vidalia. I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm just going to chop it up. Oh, I need to get a little butter. A little butter going real hot here on top of the stove. We're going to make beans and rice, if I can keep this thing from flying Red beans around. and rice, isn't it? Red beans and rice. Thank you, Laban. Well, I mean, you got to get the right kind of bean. Some fool might make them with snaps. Well, now, let me tell you something. This is one of those recipes that calls for a big <laughs> can of beans. Oh, I know. Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen the biggest can of beans they have at the Kroger store? Uh -huh. It's about that big around, about that high, and I almost brought the dog on things because who, who, that's what it who calls did that? for. Who is your uh, guest chef today? I have no idea. Well, it, it's on there, isn't it? No, it isn't. It I don't oh, have yours. Oh, I have I the see. one you well, gave me by telephone because I didn't get it, but just five let, minutes. Let before. me tell you who. Mine is from Larry Minter of Danville, Virginia. And Larry, yours was sent in by Lou Valente of Mechanicsville, Virginia. Oh, Lou. How you doing, uh -huh. Lou? I don't know you. I don't even think you're any relative of mine. But I tell you what, I'm going to do your beans today. Oh. And I'm going to start out by chopping some <laughs> onions at, while you get started. Okay. Well, now I've got uh, the same problem with my recipe. Now, they did specify that you start out with eight ounces of cream cheese. That's one of the big bars of cream cheese, and there it is in the pan. And I've got to whip it into submission. Doesn't sound like submission to me. I know, it's burning up the mixer. Sounds like just barely. And anyway, it's all. Now, there we go. It's all mixed up. Now it says add a medium sized can of milk. Uh huh. Now that's like. <laughs> Here's a can of milk. Now, don't be now, rude. There were, only, there were only three sizes there was a little bitty one, uh -huh. there was this size, and then there was a huge one. So mm. I take it this is a medium size. However, it is my humble opinion that there is too much liquid in this dish. <laughs> And therefore, they had something else in mind. Or is it a can of sweetened condensed milk, which is possible? Uh huh. So we don't know. So I, I made this thing previously. We don't know. So let's go to the and video it, tape. And it didn't set up right. So I'm not going to put in. <laughs> I'm not going to put in the whole can of this stuff. So, well, then and, don't. Well, I'm not. If I'm you don't feel like it, don't it. do it. Now, now, how much would you say you, you put know in this, there? I, I, about a half of the can. About you half know can. this is going to be a mess. <laughs> he has ruined another fine shirt of mine. <laughs> your shirt? I'm not wearing your shirt. Throwing that stuff around the studio. Ooh, this thing looks nasty inside. Oh, you got a corrupt onion. Full of corruption. It's hard to find good onions anymore. What's wrong, onion industry? Well, they'll, you know, if you take it back to the, most stores, they'll give you another one. Just pick up the pieces and put it in a little. Yeah, you have to beat this. Well, I guess we'll have to go and overseas it. and get those Japanese onions. They uh, just don't <laughs> build them. They're good. Or some Korean onions. <laughs> some Korean onions, that's right. <laughs> I love Korea. You know, I was in Seoul, Korea for a couple of years. Now that's a lie. I was in Seoul, Korea for one year. Now this mixture is just getting all prettied up here. I can see you're interested in my Korea story. Not at all. <laughs> Thank heavens the camera people yeah, pay they attention said he, to what I say. He's gone here. to Korea. <laughs> Someone told me to go to that's Korea. That's a terrible disease, but you know they use that penicillin on it. He's gone to Korea. It's terrible. Uh, I was with the American Forces Korea Network. I won't tell you what we called that. Was that, that was back in the. Uh, <laughs> that was back in the. What? Uh, what about it? Oh, it's ballooning on camera. Oh. 
That was back in the Second World War, wasn't it? That was not the Second World War. <laughs> it was just a few years ago. Now, they also called for a medium-sized can of pineapple. Well, now, are you supposed to drain that? At, no, undrained. Well, now, that's why it's getting all liquidy well, on no, you. Well, no. And so I got a, what appears to be a medium-sized can. But again, you, don't, you just don't say medium-sized can or anything in a recipe. You say the number of ounces in it. Don't say the number of the can or anything. Put the number of ounces. So that goes in there. Bye for that. Okay. All right, while you all are waiting on that, I'm going to open. <laughs> I'm going to open this fine uh, green uh, pepper as best I can. No, I'm just joking. But I, I'm, I'm going to chop that all up, too. Isn't that pretty? They had some beautiful ones. Looks like a big molar, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. You know it does. What, what, wasn't that some kind of, uh, uh, the molar, wasn't that some kind of a... Uh, I'm going to rip its it? insides out. You can make real quick use of that with your bare hands. I, people get in there with their knives and they do all this what fancy kind of, trimming. What, what oh, molar a minute, I'm kind giving, of a... I'm giving a hint. Oh. But you don't have to do that. All you have to do is just rip in there with your fingers and get that stuff out. <laughs> all right, now what, what were you asking before I, I rudely yelled at you? I don't even, I don't even remember. No, go ahead, ask me. I was going to ask you what kind of appliance the molar was. Did, wasn't there a molar or was, it, was that an organ or something? There, there's some company named the Molar Company. Anyway, you need about a cup of sugar. I'm sure glad we took time out for that. So here's That's a the Mosler company, <laughs> and they make bank equipment. It's not the mower company. Now here's this cup of sugar in this mess. I'd like to make a request. What? That if indeed we ever get back on next season, uh -huh. that someone at this station take a little time out to redo the stove so that all my stuff don't fly down at one side. It's crooked. <laughs> Look at that. It all droops over to the side because the whole thing is jacked up in the air. Yeah, I've got to add something else to mine. My what? No, That's my right. Pan yeah, the pan warped. is warped. It is not. Look oh. at the edge of it and you'll see what I'm talking about. You know. You all right, I'll bring a level next week. Oh, and you burnt. All right, anyway, I've now got to add a, a, a package of lemon jello. We'll do it. But it didn't say which size, so this is a small one. Don't tell Maybe us. it needs to be the big one, but this is the small one. Well, I'm real confused. I don't know what so you am use I. on this. Hey, big one, little one, little one, big one. I was with the American Forces Korea Network <laughs> playing records for the United States servicemen during the Vietnam War. Yeah, he was kind of the Tokyo Rose of <laughs> Korea. <laughs> Yeah, they knew him. He was well known. Took out Edge in the paper. I'm continuing He'd to come chop. Come on, say hello, soldiers. <laughs> I'm continuing to chop my green pepper. Now you got to mix up this lemon jello in here real good. How good? Real good. Now you do have you do to that have... with a large mixer or a medium-sized mixer? Well, I don't know. Now you have to <laughs> have the juice of a limon. Isn't that real fine? We got that uh, top off uh -huh. uh, lemon, lemoner, squeezer. What'd you call that thing? It's not called a lemoner. A juicer. A juicer. <laughs> Couldn't figure out what you called it. Oh, God, I guess they'll all be out there grossed out in TV <laughs> land because I got my hands on it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> There goes the rest of it. Yeah. I don't believe I'm going to get my recipe done. Oh, I think you will. Go on and fry it up. We've all seen people fry onions. All right, I, I am. That's what I was going to say. It really doesn't uh, take an awful lot. Now, just take all, a great big onion, one large onion, and uh, one large pepper, and get, get your butter real hot, and fry that stuff, and saute it real fast, OK? That's the first step. Doesn't that look pretty and beautiful? And that's what we're going to do for right now, and then I'll show you all the rest of the secret recipe in just a minute. Just fry that right up. That's going to get very aromatic. All right, Johnson, back to you. All right, now I've got my uh, lemon juice, the juice of a lemon in here, and it's all mixed up. 
And now it says. So am I. To you, put you, it well, into a pie crust, a graham cracker crust. So let me pour it in there. Now, as you will see, you have enough left <laughs> to do another one. There's an, this would make two. Does this mean we have only, to go through this again? No, the recipe only called for one, but you could make two. Well, maybe you didn't use a big enough crust. Well, I mean, that's the only kind they had. Really? Don't they have a 12 inch in a? I've never seen one. Really? Now, that doesn't mean that they I don't have I'm it. I think I'm thinking of records, maybe. Oh, had my hands in my mouth. Oh, no. Okay, well, now I'm going to put it. a little. I'm finished. Salt and pepper in this stuff here. Well, now that's a fine thing. <laughs> now I'm to the point where I got to wait for it to saute and he's finished. <laughs> now, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> little salt and pepper in there. Well, I will say this to you. You should have thought about that when you insulted me a while ago. <laughs> I will say this. Well, while we're frying that up just a little bit, and it's looking real pretty, and I'll just open up the rest of the, the recipe. It calls for two cups of cooked rice, which we're going to add in a minute, a large chopped onion, medium green pepper, a small can of Mexi corn. Have, I'd never heard tell of this stuff before the other day. It's a combination of golden corn, red and green sweet peppers. And a large can of kidney beans, undrained. Oh, that's a large can of my, would you say that's a large can that's of a, kidney beans? That's a large can. That's a can. large can if I ever saw one. Turn around. No, that's a large can. All right. Now, what we're gonna do, <laughs> Second largest can. All right, I wouldn't overdo that too much if I were you. So what we'll do now is we'll start opening this stuff up and, and putting it all in there. I'm going to give you a little tip above and beyond what his recipe called for that I think personally will make this thing go a little bit better. Now, once again, that's undrained, or as they say up where I come from, undrained. You don't want to drain it. Throw that in there. You need a pretty big pan for this because I'm telling you, it'll get out of control as sure as I'm standing here. There's an awful lot of this stuff. This will feed a small army in Korea. In Korea. <laughs> All right. Now, we take this Mexicorn next and we open it up. This is sort of a lazy uh, recipe in a way because really you just basically open a lot of cans. Now it doesn't oh, say no. to. You're not going to open a can of worms, are you? <laughs> well, it doesn't say to, but you know, I think this this stuff ought to be drained a little bit. So I'm going to drain it. Ooh, okay. boy, that's nasty. That thing. I hooked my finger on that, and we're going to have bloody blood. mix the corn. I'm going to drain that corn out. A little I think bit. we need to tell our staff of fine cleaning people around here. And if they know what's good for them, they will clean out the water barrel immediately because <laughs> we have put some nasty <laughs> stuff put down some in there. bad stuff down in there. Now throw that in there. Now this is starting to get real colorful. Mm-mm. Yes, indeed. Maybe we can get Tom to clean it up. Huh. Tom's been real sick. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. What's yeah, wrong with it? Yeah, over here this morning said he was sick as a dog. Said, yeah, I've been sick day of all day Friday. <laughs> What did he say? He said it just filled up with cold. <laughs> <laughs> Two cups of fried rice. Fried? Doesn't that, doesn't just that rice. I mean, of, cook of uh, cooked rice. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't that have a funny uh, form to it? I had it when I did it yesterday, the rice, so it would be ready for this show. Now, as you can see, that's just looking darling. Now, what you're supposed to do. <laughs> And it's also getting real big. Have you seen <laughs> what is that? It just gets bigger as you go along. Yesterday, I went through three different sizes of pans. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors have this stuff now. Six, seven of them. I had to go out mm -hmm. and give it away. Now what you do is you take chili powder to taste. A little salt and pepper to taste. Easy on that. Be easy on it. <laughs> a little pepper. I found, now I'll tell you this in a minute. A little pepper and chili powder to taste. Now, chili powder to taste is a very subjective thing, as you know. What is too much for one person is not enough for another. Mm -hmm. 
Well, hey, you know, we had some chili ice cream recently. We did, chili ice cream, it's true. Our friend Rick Marty and over at Parlor Days Ice Cream here in this burg made chili ice and cream. And it was, wasn't half bad, really. It was sort I mean, of, it was, no, wasn't the sort it, of thing you'd want to sit around. It was sort of half good. It was sort of half good <laughs> and half bad. I think I got the part that was bad. <laughs> it was real strange. Now, you know what I'd like to suggest to peppy this up a little bit? You need some of the snappy peppy. Oh. <laughs> snappy peppy. It's nothing without the snappy peppy. Right. I, I thought you take were going to put a couple of, of bullfrogs in. I would suggest you take a little bit of Texas peat or other hot sauce uh -huh. and throw that stuff in there just to kind of bring it to life a little bit, because I found it was a little... To wake it up. A little calm to my taste. It really was, just a little bit... I didn't say Tom, I said calm. Oh. I didn't say Tom. I thought maybe they, they left out part of the recipe. Now look at that, isn't that pretty? Now you know it is, and it's just lovely. You throw that stuff out in front of your guests, and they'll just, well, they'll uh -huh. love it. Just eat it right they'll up. They'll fall down if you throw well, it out Well, they will. They'll just, they'll just eat it right up. Well, now, I think what we need to do now... Uh, well, let's show these people what these yeah, recipes are all the about. the receipts are. Might be nice for a change. The icebox cheesecake, you need eight ounces of cream cheese, a box of lemon gelatin, juice of one lemon, medium can of crushed pineapple drained. Oh, I didn't drain it. Ah, medium can I condensed told milk you, and a I cup told of sugar. You. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was supposed to be drained. Red beans and rice, a big can of kidney beans undrained. I don't get one of them 14-gallon jobs. Two cups of cooked rice, one large onion chopped, a medium bell pepper chopped, one small can of Mexican-style corn. It's called Mexicorn. Red beans in the sunset. <laughs> Two tablespoons of margarine. Salt, pepper, sea. and chili powder. What? We need a big spoon. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> Look. <laughs> It just don't set up right. Well, that's because you didn't do it right. No. It's obvious to all of us Something who wrong you, with it. that you didn't drain the stuff out, and that's why it's runny. He didn't do the recipe like the person who sent it in told him to do it. Now, that's it. You don't need to cook it to death. There's no need to. This is ready to go over. In fact, it looks like it's done gone over. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready to go over here oh. on the table. Johnson, I don't believe I've ever seen bigger mess <laughs> than what you've made over there. It's because you well, didn't drain Well, now, this is the one things. I made yesterday. Oh. Well, what's the excuse for that? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> well, if you had a knife, Laban, it might be... Here's a knife. No, no, wait a minute. I'm telling you. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, about Mexican beans. No, please don't drop it by beans. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> well, put your plate. <laughs> hey, don't get it in my pie. As you can see, he did not know what he was doing. When yes, he did I did. This. Let me give you some. Oh, beer. that's the greatest. No, 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 no. Here, no, 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 no. I don't need any more. I've, got, I've got enough. I hope I've had it. <laughs> Why am I going to eat this? Because I know it's going to bring me to grief later on. You'd be like those cows you were talking about last week. I know I will have a misery on me in just about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm canceling those dinner, <laughs> those dinner plans you and I had after the show this evening. <laughs> I've been wow. you. I'm going to try this. Is it too hot for mm -hmm. you? What do you think? Half raw. <laughs> He's just getting me back. Well, it's got a good taste, but I need a spoon to eat it with. Oh, that, oh, I believe you got too much of peat in it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Lord, that woke up every taste bud I've ever had. <laughs> well, I did forget to tell you about that last shot I threw in there while you had your back turned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, Johnson. I think it's all real nice, but your presentation leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't present it very well. <clears throat> People are not impressed when you pour their pie under their plate. Now, wait a minute. Maybe this guy meant when you put it in the ice box, maybe he meant the freezer. Well, don't look at me. I don't well, know. Well, I'm just trying to figure it out. I just wish the directions had been more clear. But they weren't. Those beans are too much for me. I know. 
they've just made it real hot. I'm just having Well, a maybe spell. you'll run into him on the street sometime. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Hope not anyway. Well, I can't think of when I've had a better time, red beans and messy pie. It's a great meal for me, I'm telling you. Come back next week. Mm -hmm. We're going to try one more time with your <laughs> recipes. Bye. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at BlueRidgePBS.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.